Hello, this is Scott from Calibrated Power Solutions, home of Duramax Tuner and Cummins Tuner. Today I'll be walking you through how to load tunes onto your spade unit, or V2. The first thing you're going to want to do, as always, is head over to EFILive.com and download the latest versions of V8 and V7.5. Just click these two icons and it will go ahead and uh, walk you through the steps. It takes about 5 to 10 minutes depending on internet speed. Once that is complete, you are going to want to plug your spade or V2 into your computer. After you've done that, head on over to your email. Uh, if you receive tunes from us, they should be waiting for you in your uh, in your inbox. So here I am using uh, I'm using Gmail and also Chrome as the browser. If you are using Gmail, make sure you're using Chrome. If you try to use Internet Explorer. It creates some issues and you're going to have some problems actually getting your tunes on your computer. So what you want to do, head down to the bottom, find your tunes, simply click, or as it says there, click to view or drag onto your desktop to save. So I'm going to left click, hold, drag over to my desktop and let go. It's going to download that right on my desktop for me. Now you may have one to a five tune, so you're just going to repeat the process. In this case, here's two, just for the sake of, uh, of an example. So I've got my tunes. Once you have your tunes downloaded onto your desktop, head back to your inbox. You will receive another email from us, the one that includes the instructions in this video. What you want to do, head down to this good BBX settings select download it's going to download it onto your computer click on this guy head up to file save as good bbx settings and with this one libraries we're going to go to documents my documents find EFI Live, V8, the config folder, just double click, and save it under the config folder. You won't have it saved here, so it's not going to give you this message. I'm just going to go ahead and hit yes. Alrighty, close that out. Minimize this screen. Now we want to make sure that your spade is completely updated. To do that, we're going to open up EFI Live Scan and Tune. Head on up to Check Firmware. Select. And you can see this unit that we're working with. The firmware needs to be updated see right here so we'll go ahead and select update firmware it takes just a few seconds pretty easy all right it's finishing up here now once this is done doing okay we can just close this window out the next thing we need to do head on over to f5 bbx or hit the f5 key click on that guy it's going to bring up a new window for us there we go. Okay, so from here, what we want to do is make sure that the BBX settings on our spade are up to date as well. Simply select the small arrow that is next to the program button. Format config file system. Select yes. Alrighty, and here we're going to next thing select the open button. And that brings us right in that config folder. We want to find the good BBX settings. Double click on that. Here we are, space required shows 97%. From here we're going to go ahead and click the large program button. This operation may take a few minutes. Select yes. 
and you get a green progress bar, and this is going to run for a few minutes as well. Alrighty, we're just finishing up here. You know, once the progress bar has gone away, everything is updated. Just close this screen out. Close this screen out. Just open up EFI Live Explorer. Double click. Now if you have tunes on your device from us previously, they're going to show up right over here in this section. And there they are. Now in order to load new tunes on, you're going to have to get rid of some of these. So in this case, I've got a heavy and sport econ. So what you want to do is you can just select the tune and hit the, the delete key. It's going to ask you deleted this operation cannot be undone. Select yes. Again. Delete key. Yes. If you wanted to you could just click on the top one, hold the shift key down, select all of them, just get rid of them, delete, Yes. And then putting the tunes on are as simple as just click, click on the tune, drag it over, you see a little plus sign there, drop it in there. One thing you definitely want to make sure of is that we are putting them in this tune folder here. Sometimes when you open it, this program will default to this EFI Live folder, in which case when you go to load the tunes on your truck, they won't show up under the program full file and you'll have to do this process over again. So again, just make sure you're plugging them into this tune folder. Then as the tunes make their way onto the spade, this is the part where they're actually loading onto the hardware. You see that progress bar go over. Once that progress bar disappears and the tune shows up, just like that, one heavy toe, that means that the tune is now loaded onto your spade hardware. You simply either go ahead and do this for all your tunes. Again, a little trick if you want to get this done faster, hold down your control key and then select the tune files that you want to load. It'll highlight them all and then you just drag and drop them all on at the same time. It's going to go ahead and load them all on there for you. Once you have all the tunes that you want loaded onto your spade, you just simply unplug it from your computer, head out to your truck, turn the key to the run position which is two clicks select tuning tool just follow the instructions select tuning tool toggle down to program full then toggle down to the tune you want and every time press OK once you do that the tune will load up on your truck should take roughly five minutes and then you'll be off and running Thank you very much for watching. Again, this is Scott from Calibrated Power, home of Duramax Tuner Cummins Tuner. Please give us a call if you have any other questions or any other tunes you need. Thank you.